Hey guys, this is Justin, and I'm doing something a little different here. I'm going to try out doing these news stories, just like YouTube channels like Clownfish TV and them do. But I'm not going to make any money with them, obviously. Um, anyways, so, talking about the Flintstones today, it looks like we have a new Flintstone series coming out from... This has actually been in development for um, quite some time. It's a series by Elizabeth Banks. I remember an article came out about it. And then it went nowhere, so we all thought it was dead in the water. Well, from Variety today, uh, the Flintstone sequel series in the works at Fox from Warner Brothers Animation, Elizabeth Banks to voice Pebbles. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> They're going to age up, um, according to this article, I'll, I'm, I'll, I'm probably not going to read the entire thing, but it looks like they're going to age up um, Pebbles again. Because it worked so well with the Pebbles and Bam Bam show. Then I mean, it had its moments. I, I Don't get me wrong. It had its moments on the Pebbles and Bam Bam show. And it had its moments... Um, um, it had its moments uh, with uh, what they call Flintstones Frolics. I actually have a personal heart for that series because uh, Tex Avery. That was some of the last stuff Tex Avery worked on. But the classic stuff, the original series from 1960 through 1966 are... Golden, and it's kind of like with Rugrats and All Grown Up. If you see Pebbles all grown up and Fred Flintstone aging, eh, you're gonna you're gonna feel your age, and especially if you're a boomer listening to this, you're probably gonna feel much older than what you should feel. Well, I guess time has passed. You, anyways. <laughs> Anyways, the Flintstone ser sequel series from Warner Brothers Animation is officially in development at Fox, with Elizabeth Banks attached to star and executive produce. The animated series titled Bedrock is set 20 years. Uh oh, is set 20 years after the events of the original series. Banks will voice an adult Pebbles Flintstone in addition to executive producing. Variety. Variety excuse me, exclusively reported that Banks and WB Animation were developing new warriors. Yeah, I remember we I remember that was a big deal. I remember Stu Shostak, who's a big Flintstones aficionado, was really upset about this. Uh, we'll talk about this later, but there's another Flintstones reboot out there, but it hasn't made its debut in the United States yet. We'll talk about it in a little bit. Here's the uh-oh part. In the show, Fred Flintstone is on the brink of retirement, and 20-something Pebbles is embarking on her own career. <sighs> As the Stone Age gives way to the shiny and light new Bronze Age, good grief, the residents of Bedrock will find this evolution harder than a swing from Bam Bam's club. <sighs> you know... It, it, this is 2020 something now. Where if we're gonna be when we'll be seeing this, and if they're gonna make Pebbles like this millennial and not this friendly sweetheart type on uh, Frolics and um, Comedy Hour and um, and uh, the Pebbles and Bam Bam show, it's not gonna work. This is not gonna work. This is bad all over. Hopefully though they won't do that to Pebbles and make her stereotype. This is bad. This is bad. <laughs> this is bad news. <laughs> this is going to be bad. Okay, the project will be written and co-executive produced by Lindsay Cairns, whose past credits include Jurassic World, Camp Creed, Cree, Cree, uh, anyways, DC Superhero girl Girls, and The Trolls Be Goes On. Banks and Max Handelman will executive produce via Brownstone Productions with the company's Dana Schneider co-executive producing Warner Brothers Animation and Fox Entertainment will produce. Brownstone is currently under a TV overall deal with Warner Brothers. Okay, this is Thorne speaking. Long before The Simpsons and Springfield, The Griffins and Quahog, or even when the Bletchers started serving burgers on Ocean Avenue, there were the Flintstones and Bedrock. Their imprint on the animation universe is undeniable, and the idea of act adapting it for today's audiences today's audiences is a challenge we here at Fox are very much looking forward to taking on with Warner Brothers, Elizabeth and Lindsay. No pressure whatsoever, really. Oh, you got tons of pressure. You got pressure from people like Stu Shostak her now begging and pleading, please don't do this. Please leave my childhood alone. That's the challenge. And you're changing it up. You know, they're going to have to update because you know those jokes about 
they live in the Stone Age, so they're going to have to do some jokes like they did on WWE. Like now they have iPads or Ice Stone pads and such. iPhone, Ice Stone. You're going to get Ice Stone. <laughs> You're going to get Ice Stone with the pebbles. God, this is this is this is going to blow really hard. Now this is interesting news here because Fox owns Tubi. Uh, if you if you haven't heard that that uh, when Disney bought uh, the 21st Studios library, that gave uh, Fox Entertainment lots of money. So what do they do? Invested in buying Tubi, and they're growing the lineup. And in fact, there's actually a lot of um, not a lot, but there's some B classic cartoons. They have Pebbles and Bam Bam already up there already, the original Pebbles and Bam Bam, and. Um, they 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 just put up stuff from they're taking stuff from Peacock that Peacock would have should have uh, ran like Underdog and um, and uh, Tennessee Tuxedo and Felix the Cat. Anyways, in addition, Fox Entertainment's free streaming platform Tubi has acquired the AVOD rights to all six seasons of The Flintstones, which will begin steer, streaming on Tubi on May first. Now, now I wonder what's going to happen to. Uh, them being on HBO Max. I know at one point there was talk of them getting rid of the Flintstones. I figured they would probably move to a different channel, to a different streaming service, if anything, because uh, those classic cartoons are so valuable today. Um, so it'll be interesting to see, because that would mean then Flintstones will be on uh, three streaming channels. you got the Boomerang app, you got HBO Max, and then you got Tubi. Uh, hopefully, um, Tubi will get the uh, re restored versions that were made for HBO Max just last year. They look very beautiful. I highly recommend if you haven't gotten the, the Flintstones Blu-ray set. Okay, and then this is going to be... Um, this is just um, miscellaneous stuff here. Oh, yeah, we're getting a Velma spinoff, too. I, oh, boy. So, yeah, this is what's happening with, um... Here's the other thing about Pebbles and Elizabeth Banks, which brings us to our next, um, reboot that hasn't seen the light of day yet, yet it's finished. Yabba Dabba Dinosaurs was supposed to be for Boomerang. For Boomerang. And it, where is it? I don't see it on our streaming service. I don't see it on Boomerang the TV network. Of course, I don't get Boomer, Boomerang the TV network. What's interesting here is that we, of course, you got um, uh, Jeff Bergman. He's back uh, voicing Fred Flintstone again. He does a good. Um, he does a good uh, Fred Flintstone. Uh, Alan Reed, the original Alan Reed, Fred Flintstone. Here's who's doing the voice of Pebbles. It's Jessica De Chico, Lucy Loud herself. Now, in my opinion, um, you can say whatever you want about this series. I have, too. Ch the Chico is one of the most underrated ta voiceover talents in the industry. She, in fact, congratulations, she was nominated for an Annie this year for her voice in uh, as Annie in uh, It's Pony. But she, they're replacing her with some celebrity status actress. Thank you for stealing, for snubbing a job from, from a, from a very talented um, w a woman. Uh, I'm getting tongue tied. I'm, I'm sorry. This is a, this is a testing. This is gonna be. I mean, I, I, I don't like it because it, it, I mean, it's, it's weird. It, again, the main premise is Pebbles of Bam Bam, and here they age them up again slightly, but not to the extent where they're teenagers or like. Seven, eight, nine, ten years old, something like that. Um, you notice I'm having it on mute so that you, we don't get caught with a copyright strike on here. But yeah, go check out the. Here's the the video. It's Yabba Dabba Dinosaurs. Look it up on YouTube. You can hear Jessica DeChico uh, doing a voice of, and she does a pretty good job, even though it's a different kind of. It's a different kind of pebbles, actually. She's not. Um, She's kind of that's this. These are the kind of girls that uh, the Chico voices. They're t she's a Tom girl who wants to be a scientist. Now compare that to um, high school loving cheerleader from Pebbles and Bam Bam and um, Flintstones uh, 
frolics. And now we're getting, we're getting this, where she's a 20-something embarking her own career. She's going to probably be boring. This is going to be very, un I, I, I'll be interested in see how this goes. I'll be interested to see where Yabba Dabba Do goes. We'll keep you posted, keep on the lookout for the latest um, news uh, and cartoon news and all kinds of stuff like that. Anyways, this is Justin signing out.